What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Our little box walls have been evolving, and after making the nursery in one, I thought we could make a little crafting area. I got a piece of foam board from my local craft store. I picked this one up at Michael's for $4.99. It measures 20 by 30 inches. Using a ruler, draw a 12 by 13 inch rectangle. Cut it out. I cut two more rectangles that are 3 by 13 inches and another 3 inch wide board that's around 11 and 5 eighths of an inch. For the bottom of our box, we can choose to leave the inside of our closet white or we can use scrapbook paper to add a little color to the walls. I cover the sides with 12 by 3 strips of paper. Then I take another piece and glue it to the back wall an inch and a half from the top. I make a small mark where the walls are going to go. Take leftover foam board, cut it to the same length as the floor, cut a strip that's two and a half inches wide. I cut four that are two and a half by four and three quarter inches, four two and a half by two and a half squares, and two two and a half by a half. I divided the foam board so we can make two shelves. I take one of the squares and glue the half inch piece underneath a quarter inch from the edge. Glue it to the bottom of one of the four and three quarter inch boards. Glue the other square two inches from the top. Glue the other four and three quarter inches board on the other side to make a little shelf. Repeat to make two. I cut another board at one and a half inches and now we can start putting this room together. We can cover the piece for the floor with scrapbook paper. I have some leftover paper from our nursery, so I'm just gonna use that. Let's glue on one of the sides, followed by the floor. Let's glue the shelves in the corners. I drew a light line on this side for the wall so we know where we're supposed to glue it. Add the two and a half inch wide piece on top. We can see a little of the blue paper, so I'm going to add a little strip of foam board to the back under the desk, making a built-in desk. I take the one and a half inch strip and we're going to glue it to the top right at the end of the paper. At the last wall, I glue together a few one and a half inch strips and glue them onto the side. I take leftover foam board and cut two by one and three quarter inch rectangles. We will need two of those and then two two and a quarter by one and three quarter inch rectangles. Glue the shorter ones between the longer ones. Cut a piece of foam board to fit inside. I cut a piece of foam board that is slightly smaller than the bottom shelves. Add a push pin. Bend the point over on the other side. I place the box in one of the shelves under the desk. Then glue the foam board on top to make working drawers for the desk. I still have a few pieces of foam board left over. I cut a few small strips, glue them in the box for more shelves. We can take another piece of foam board and make small dots. Or we can use our target printable that's available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, and just glue it onto the foam board and glue it into the box to complete the basic construction of this space. Now we can fill it with our printables. We made this one a while ago. It's in our food and grocery stuff album. It gives us a few printable labels that we can add to rolled up paper. I'm rolling this around a cut Q-tip. Then we can just glue on the label to make little bottles of craft paint that we can add to the shelves. We can glue them to pieces of clear plastic from packaging or score and bin clear plastic to make small shelves. If you don't want to use printables, you can always cut pictures out of magazines and newspapers to make minis without a printer. If your dolls are into journaling or scrapbooking, I can often find miniatures on the back of a pack of stickers, where all we have to do is cut them out to make miniature sticker sheets. Let's push a small sewing pin through the top so we can attach them to the board. Let's add a few more pins to hang dollhouse scissors Let's cut clear plastic from packaging into strips, score lines on it, 
I cut a piece that's about three and a quarter inches long and three quarter inches wide. I scored a line every three quarter inch, leaving about a quarter of an inch at the end. Then we can just bend on the lines, glue it onto paper or cardstock. I made a couple of different sizes, cut off the excess to make small containers. We can cut the sample pictures off the bottom of scrapbook paper to make mini scrapbook paper. Cut toothpicks for knitting needles, wrap fabric around leftover foam board, add them across the top for some fabric storage, and it takes up a lot of space. If we're looking for more filler, we can take embroidery floss or cord. I'm just gonna rewrap them to make them a little smaller without cutting them so they're still usable. Then we can just place them on the shelves so we can store real crafting supplies in our doll room. Let's take a round toothpick. Let's cut a piece from the center. Then I carefully make a small notch on one side. I am slowly carving it with my X-Acto knife. I'm sure there are better tools for this, but this is what I got. So this is what I'm using. You can see that we're making some progress on the side and I'm just taking my time trying not to cut myself. I'm giving the hook a little bit of a point and then let's just shave the top and make that kind of pointed too. When we get a shape that is close to what we want, I use a nail file to smooth it out, then round the end to make miniature crochet hooks that can actually work. Oh my goodness, we are crocheting with our little toothpick crochet hook. Now, am I doing a proper stitch? I don't know, but we're, we're trying here and this is tiny crocheting for me and I'm already not great at it, so. But I did all of this so we can make it look like our dolls are working on a project. If you plan on using those tiny crochet hooks, I would suggest brushing it with a layer of nail polish to make sure it doesn't snag your yarn. We have a little empty space right here on the wall, so let's add some foam letters to label this space. Combine it with our other walls and add a chair to make a space for the dolls to enjoy because you never know what's going to be around the corner in the dollhouse. This is a great space to display your mini brands like the hot glue gun and take a few photos with the dolls doing stuff. Thank you for joining us while we made a miniature crafting area. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!